So science is the concerted human effort of understanding the nature. So how the nature is understood? By process like observation, the nature is observed and experiments are conducted, experimentation and coming for some inference or conclusions. So by that we can understand the nature. So we always see that scientists are involved in conducting experiments. So that is a research, part of their research work. So by experimentation, we will come to know various facts. So in such a process, the science is studied. So science is a, science is a organized or systematized, organized or systematized study of knowledge. So it is a systematized or organized, there are, there is certain pattern, there, there is a specific pattern by which the science can be studied. So by which the facts of nature can be revealed out, which will be later used for the benefit of mankind. So what is the beginning of this study? We know that science is a tool to search the truths of nature, but we see we observe in a group, say for example in your classroom, you will find someone will be very curious. He might be asking all the teachers, teacher why that leaf is in red color, teacher why the sky becomes red color sometimes, teacher why the water is in blue color. So likewise, certain people will be, certain students will be very curious in asking questions. So we find certain students are not thinking at such things at all. So there are some curious minds in this world who are curious about all the things. So they will be amazed by this world in which they are living. So when we look around, we will be amazed by the beautiful nature. So how is this grass growing? Who planted the seeds of grass? How the banyan tree is growing on the wall? How certain white color structure mushrooms are growing on the trunk of the tree? How the bird is able to live on that height of the tree? How the bird is able to make the nest? How the bird is able to stitch its own nest? So in such a way, there will be so many doubts in our mind. So here, all these doubts are the questions. These questions are the beginning of the study of the science. So they are the motive or initiative. So we studied an example about that Newton's law of motion when we studied that this uh, story of Newton. So there was a story that when Newton was under an apple tree, so the apple fell from the tree onto the ground. So then he got a question in his mind, why the apple is falling on the earth? Why not the earth is going up? So because of the questioning, he started inquiring answer for the question. So it led to the discovery of his loss. In such a way, questioning is a primary part of studying science. So everybody cannot study the science and everybody cannot do the research and find out the facts. It is possible for the minds, those who are curious, inquisitive, so that those who are having interest in understanding the nature, they will get so many doubts. And many people, even though they get the doubts, if they are not uh, enough, uh, if they don't have enough interest in uh, rectifying their doubts, okay, they get their doubt, they are satisfied, okay, some might, something might be the reason. But do you find certain people, they are not that easy going. They wanted to find out the answer at any cost for the question. They asked the teacher, teachers say that, okay, that is not there, that is not yet found, it is a mystery. So the person goes to a library, goes to internet and he does some work, collects the information. So that is a research work, collecting the information. So after collecting all the information, he finds that the answer is not found yet because of some challenges. So if he take up the work of solving the challenges, overcome the challenges to find out the facts. Then he is a scientist, a researcher. So in such a way the science is studied but the beginning is that questioning. Questioning is the starting of studying science. So in the study of science, in the study of knowledge, systematic study of knowledge, it begins with the questioning. So the people, those who have such questions in their mind, I told you those are the researchers or scientists of different fields. They start their work either in the field or in the laboratory. If there is an ecologist, he has to study in the field, go to the ecosystems, observe different kind of animals, 
make a note of all his observations and uh, making the organisms uh, undergo certain simulation separate conditions observing how they are behaving in the separate condition making the differences so by that he will come to a conclusion after studying certain animals for a period of time so his work his observation and experimentation is in the field ecologist so in the same way environmentalist uh, who works on that uh, environment so environmentalist they'll uh, work on that environment some pollution or uh, you, if you find uh, uh, a medical uh, scientist who works on the medicines how they work on the bodies of animals and on the humans he work in the laboratories so animals or humans are subjected to certain uh, conditions certain simulated uh, simulated conditions artificial uh, create artificially created conditions so in that conditions how their bodies are responding how their tissues are responding how their cells are responding are studied even if we see the nuclear physicist they study how that atoms are revolving electrons are revolving in the new around the nucleus such a way everybody are studying different aspects of science some are studying biology medicine some are studying some physics some are studying some uh, galaxies so astrophysicist may look at the galaxies and make uh, take the photographs how the planetary bodies and stars and what kind of uh, changes taking place so the study may be in the ground may be in the sky may be in the laboratory but all the people those who are studying observing or called a scientist so they do the similar kind of job that is understanding the nature sometimes even certain scientists some 100 years ago or 200 years ago certain scientists they have given some um, discoveries they have given certain statements they have claimed something some facts but due to the advancement in the technology if the facts are re-verified sometimes they may be proved that they were wrong sometimes they may be proved that they were incomplete because that time there was a limitation of technology equipment tools but now there is very much advancement so by that the facts can be restated modified by the research of the uh, latest or recent scientist work 